Hey, you guys remember two videos ago when I said that I didn't have a problem? Um, it might be that I have more of a problem than I thought I did. Three more Polar Stars in a video, and I'm like... <laughs> What's up guys? Uh, I got some help as you can tell today. This might be the worst and best stacking job that I've ever had. It shows that there's a lot of stuff, but it also blocks me. All right, boys, we're back at it again with another unboxing. I have a high kappa here. I have someone, Antonio, traded me something for that. And then I also bought part of a collection as well. Um, you guys have been blowing up videos recently. I think the last one has like 6K and the one before that has like 8K. So I am super appreciative of you guys. I love that you guys are supporting me. I love doing these videos and I hope that comes through in videos and conversations like this. Uh, get your merch if you want them. They're, it's really cold out right now. It's like 35 degrees out. And so it is perfect with the super soft ones or the regular ones if you want to get them. Also, I am streaming hopefully on youtube for cold war cold war dropped last night on thursday and it's friday today which is when you guys will be seeing this video i'm gonna try and play this weekend I'm trying to figure out my streaming stuff so we'll see how it goes Alrighty, gun number one he did put in an emg box but this is a tokyo murray high kappa i traded this as a partial trade uh it's one of my friends he reached out to me he says support from hawaii right there which i absolutely love he's like hey man i'm really interested in getting into polar star stuff would you be interested in trading this so i traded him a polar star for this and then some cash and this thing is absolutely beautiful. I love this. So this is some sort of Airsoft Masterpiece upper slide. I think this might be like their hex slide. I don't know the names of all the slides to be honest. Does look like it might need a new nozzle return spring as the nozzle is not seating back in there well. Does not have a mag, but he did include um, some extras. These are like the stock parts and I believe that's a upgraded bucking as well. And I really like high cappers. I know a lot of you guys really like them. Unfortunately, I don't have really hardly any indoor, indoor places to play. Um, this is actually kind of cool. You can see right there that actually has some like hex pattern as well, which is kind of cool. Um, looks like it's an upgraded spring as well. He's got some short stroke buffers in there. The hop up, I believe, is upgraded. I think this outer barrel is metal as well. Yeah, it's one of the Airsoft Masterpiece 40 ACP outer barrels. And then he does not have any of the fiber optics on the sights, which kind of sucks a little bit. But I actually really like this um, mag well. He did not include a magazine, I don't think. But I do have a few Tokyo Marine High Kappa magazines, so that should be fine. Um, looks like the safety has fallen off on this side, which doesn't matter a ton for High Kappas, as you don't really need two-sided safeties. This one on the right side is just mostly for looks. But nice pistol nonetheless. Golden Hour High Kappa vibes at 4.15 p.m. because everything suts in the Midwest. All right, round number two. We do have a barrel that's kind of seemed to come out to play. I believe this is one of those KAC flash hiders. So sneak peek. Remember how we had a conversation the past few weeks with packaging, how you guys have been doing well? This is an example of what not to do. I love that. <laughs> Thankfully, everything does have bubble wrap on it. It looks like that has bubble wrap. It did go through here, but this is one of the KAC flash hiders that works with the suppressor, so it is pretty rigid. It does have a little bit of scraping on it, but that's okay. All right, boys, is it really an Alec Mack one-on-one video if there is not a Polar Star in the unboxing? I saw this on eBay. This actually came... <laughs> Help. It's levitating. I like edit out your hand. All right, back to it. So I saw this gun on eBay and I was like, man, this thing is absolutely awesome and I have to buy it. And so I bought this. It actually comes with two uppers. On the first upper, it does have a KAC flash hider, which is awesome. Then it has the GMP MOTS rail system. It has a Magpul MOE body, which is super nice. This lower actually looks like it's in really good shape. Um, the upper looks like it's in pretty good shape as well. I think this one is a metal upper as well looks like it fits really well i don't know if this is a gmp upper it does look a little bit different color wise in the mott's rail system but then he did not tighten the stock i think i should be able to get in there with a phillips head or flathead and tighten that i actually get stocks like this a lot um, and it's really easy to get a longer flathead or longer phillips head and just tighten it in it's not that hard but some people i guess do not do it at least it came with the fcu and that is golden there um on so inside internally um, this has a Polar Star F1 engine in it, which is a great engine. These are awesome. It does have a Pro Win hop up system as well. Upgraded bucking, upgraded barrel, and the barrel does come to about right here. The original, it might actually be the original outer barrel or inner barrel. I'm not 100% sure. And then finally, it does have, oh no, 
I'm gonna have to do a little bit more maintenance as well. Looks like the uh, rail is just a little bit loosey. I'll probably have to put some Loctite on there, but it should be fine. And then finally, it does have one of the MVGs in the front. This one's actually really nice. This is one of the M-Lock MVGs. It's a little bit smaller than like the normal Magpul ones, but I actually really like the texturing on it. All right, so this upper is actually the stock upper. This is the one that definitely came with this. This is like the GMP Magpul MOE Carbine. This was actually the first gun that I ever owned that was a really nice M4. I think I bought it for like $420 from Airsoft Smith back in the day. It was super expensive, but at the time, GMP was brand new to the market, and all this Magpul stuff was super rare. Um, but this is the stock upper, so it looks like he has added this upper as well, which is pretty cool. I really like two-tone uppers, if you could not tell. And then this one comes with just a basic flash hider, some sort of light system, and then an MOE grip. And these actually, these MOE handguards are actually really nice, because if you want to run guns that are wired to the front, which these originally came like, they actually could hold a pretty decent battery in there, thankfully. This is HPA, so it doesn't matter. Next up is the Air Reg setup that I so wanted wonderfully decided to deed over there accidentally. Um, it does come with a Redline SFR. These are probably the best regulators on the market in my opinion. This one looks like it's in great shape and it does have an SLP tank as well. This is a 3000 or 62 3000, which is nice. It looks like it's in really, really good shape as well. It has plenty of years left on the hydro and then also comes with a pretty cool amp. I've actually not seen this. I think this is like a sand color. It does look like it's a little bit short, but it also, he also included um, these two FCU batteries as well and then some spare parts. So I think these are, this is a Masada ACR sling point and then also just a bunch of random stuff. Looks like he might have changed the nozzle out. I don't this looks like it's like a scar nozzle. And finally, the external. So it looks like he included two sights, which is nice. This one is a T1, and then it looks like it's a presser switch, one of the FMA light laser peck boxes. And then this is an Aimpoint Comp 2 Repro. And then this is one of the suppressors for the Gemtech that actually goes with this one. These ones are pretty cool. You actually can kind of slide them in like this, and then you turn them to the side, and then they will actually lock in, which is pretty cool. So it kind of like locks there and then it stays and is rigid. And these actually are pretty lightweight too. A lot of suppressors are really heavy, but thankfully this ones are nice and lightweight and they look really good. Last but certainly not least, he did include five of the Mag brand mid caps. Two are in tan and three are in black. All right, up next we have a collection, I believe. I think he, he was like, hey dude, I have some extra guns that I'm looking to sell. And so, uh, some extra guns and gear, so would you be interested in buying it? So I bought this stuff from Antonio. Eee, round two. All right, so Antonio decides. <laughs> All right, up first in this, we have a Colt 1911 A1. This is pretty nice. This looks like it was kind of similar to like my really nice KWC one, but wow, yeah, this is definitely a lot cheaper and nicer. I mean, mine's like a $500 pistol, so this one is definitely actually pretty nice, but it's one of the cheaper versions. I think these are like 120 retail. Um, I think these are OEM KWC, I believe. And they're like, yeah, they're OEM KWC, but they're also licensed by Cybergun. So nice pistol nonetheless. These are CO2 blowbacks. I think these are pretty much the exact same thing as the Elite Force 1911. These are just the like little bit different branding. This is like the more World War II style pistol. Up next, we have another gun that you love to see in the unboxing. This is a Tokyo Murray 5.1 high kappa. This is another one that has a little bit of upgrades. It's obviously not as heavily upgraded as the other one based on the stuff you can see, but it does have a color slash heat gradient in barrel. This thing is really cool. It's like the fluted one. I think this is a nine ball barrel if i'm not sure i think nine ball is the one that does the color um gradation that looks super cool on it it's like it just changes kind of by the light and it looks super cool i've seen these on knives and some high kappa stuff before my friend david really wants to do one of these with his as well the mag does not fit with the mag well i think i'll have to remove that looks like it sits just a little bit too Hi, um, I don't actually know what brand Magwell this is, but this is definitely a very wide, very flared Magwell. I will either have to use my mags with the extended base or I'll have to remove this base plate on it. It does have a silver trigger in it of some sort, and I believe, yeah, it's an upgraded barrel and bucking as well. I'm not exactly sure what brand, but this was just a basic, nice, high, upgraded high cap. Up next is gun number one. I had to push these together a little bit. I accidentally, they are interchangeable, which is kind of cool. I accidentally put this upper on this lower and this upper on this lower. And so it was a little bit awkward. And I was like, I didn't fit the best, but I managed to put all of it back together. And these guns are absolute heat. I remember looking at them and I thought they were sick, but Antonio did an awesome job with these guns. So up here we have a super cool inner red barrel. And then we also have, I believe this is like the Ergo grip. Um, he really likes his front grips. They're kind of like the um, angled foregrips in a sense, but also just like a flat hand stop. If that makes sense, it's kind of, these are like, these strike industry ones are kind of like a balance between the two of them. I actually had one of these on my real AR for a second. I really like how they look and I have an AR pistol. I ended up moving to a BCM grip 
um, but I really like how these look and I think they look awesome on Speaky B guns. This is a basic Ares Amoeba otherwise and it does have a Valken V12 engine in it. It's got the rotary style hop up. Um, he's got a really cool little red color scheme going on as well. He's got, I believe this is one of the tap 3D printed triggers and then he has the extended mag release on this side as well as this side. I don't exactly know what brand that is but I really like how that looks and it fits well in the Ares Amoeba body. He also has the drop down speed stock on here. I think this is separate. I think this might be something that's 3d printed by tap as well but it has the ability to be able to move and it's kind of cool i think it's what the people use for their dies i am not a speed soccer but it basically lets you sit down lower on the gun so you're closer with your optic from what i've understood from the magical speed soccer's up next, we have a Noveski build. This is his second build. This one is actually super cool as well. It is a Noveski 10-inch one. This one has an M-Lock rail system. It's got some really nice Noveski trades as well on the body. It does have a more flared magwell, which is pretty cool for easier reloads. Um, it's got a speed trigger on it as well that leads to a Polar Star jack. These engines are the baseline for Polar Star HPA guns, um, but they are really nice nonetheless. And he has the trigger mod on that. You can see how short it is. I've shown that in some of the other videos. With these speed triggers, you can literally set them so, so so short that they're like barely a millimeter pull before you shoot the gun and then he has some sort of magpole repro style stock in here i don't know if this is the one that comes with it, it looks like it did and then he's got the wiring and stuff in the back this is a nice emg grip as well this is one of the kind of like magpole k style grips it's got a sharper angle for your sbrs or shorter guns it, basically if you're playing for a long time real seal or shooting for a long time that it kind of gives your wrist a little bit more relief so you're not as awkward of an angle like this like those normal grips would this one kind of helps with that a little bit I believe this is just the stock hop up and barrel and everything that he's got set up. And then he also has a Ace Tech Lighter BT that he rotates between this and the other gun. And I assume he just puts his other birdcage flash hydra on it. That looks like it came with this. All right, second to last thing before we get into the last high kappa, this is a his air setup. This is an amped line, basic SLP style regulator. Does not look like he was running an SLP tank, so that might have put a little bit more pressure on this regulator. And then a Valken 48 3000 PSI. Um, tank this is nice it looks like it also has plenty of hydro left it's got like four years of hydro left hpa setups are awesome if you guys do not have one i highly recommend getting one and if you want to get one through me i got you all right last but certainly not least is some sort of high cap but this is not a tm i believe this is an aw custom of some sort oh no it says kj so this is a kjw high cap i've actually not seen a kjw high cap in a long while i won one at an airsoft shooting competition back at fallen warriors way back in the day um, it looks like this is a one piece outer barrel of some sort looks like you can kind of run if you want to put that um suppressor thing on there or if you want to put a tracer on there as well it comes stock i do not have any idea how well these shoot but the iron sights actually look really cool with those fiber optic sights and then it's got a speed reload magwell as well it looks like this came with it based on the color of the silver it looks like they all match and it kind of fits in with that handguard but last but certainly not least awesome pistol hey you guys remember two videos ago when i said that i didn't have a problem um it might be that i have more of a problem than i thought i did three more polar stars in a video and i'm like oh it's just polar stars but i love them thanks for watching this video guys wait wait, wait 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 don't forget to subscribe see you guys later <laughs> that was good